What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, uh, our force that's pushing on Gdansk is, has the opportunity to intercept a Prussian stack full of low-grade troops. I'm absolutely going to take advantage of this. So let's engage. So if we take Gdansk, we will have a united... Uh, border with Russia so we will need to fortify Gdansk and garrison it but then we can we can consider our western our eastern border secure and focus on pushing against Prussia um, pushing them westward that's going to be our objective but yeah before we can do that let's kill this army and then get ready to take Gdansk later. So you've got to bear in mind the enemy should be coming in from over here. So my gunners are going to be positioned here. Limbered up ready to fire but fire it will off. My depleted formations are going to take are going to be on the left. My strong formations going to be on the right. My pikemen are going to be in the town ready to fight. My skirmishers are going on the right. Same with my hussars. Howitzers unlimber to pummel the enemy with quicklime. Oh, actually, they're coming in more directly ahead. Interesting. Very well, it's positioned more like this. Advance my pikemen up. Put artillery fire at will. Howitzers engage their centers of gravity. Cavalry charge. Gendarmerie are advancing. Well, they're going to get peppered with shots. Form Pike Wall. You never, never normally get a chance to do this, and it still might be too late. Ooh, we're actually getting hit by quicklime. Interesting. Still, attack the guard to core. They're going to go down pretty nicely. My quicklime's coming in. It's killed a lot of Prussian troops. See, they say winning decisively. They all, they had, their horses are going down pretty quick. Conscripts are in the centre. Good volley. Not the gendarmeries coming in to support the heavy cavalry. Oh, the quick climbing howitzer is going to be out of range to do most of the damage I want against the enemy howitzers. Okay, pikemen, charge the gendarmerie. Hussars, get into the centre. They seem to think this is a good option for them. Hussars blow through the line. Just run through. Run through, I suppose you can run. That's not really a charge, but it'll do.
Okay, the enemy general unit is routing, or is running. Let's get my general out here. Switch howitzers to round shot. Switch my artillery to engage the enemy infantry line. Commit my hussars to chase down some of these really, really nice units. I mean, not the Lambert militia, but I want the the artillery to go down. That's for darn sure. Maybe kill some of their infantry as well. You men chase down the howitzer, get my general over here. Yeah, just kill their troops, I suppose. Everybody that can advance must advance. Artillery engage the Fry Corps. Kill the last of these Lanvin militia. Which I think that is all of their troops coming in, so if we can sneak in and kill some of these infantry units, that'd be pretty slick. All my artillery engage the Fry Corps. That's who we want. Just so they don't interfere with our devilish plans. <laughs> we killed the enemy commander. Oh, we're not going to be able to get them. Ooh, and, ooh. Ah, just kill as many as you can. The enemy infantry are going to escape, but let's just, just try and kill Prussians. Actually, send one of them to go kill some line infantry at least. And kill them now. Kill the militia unit. Cease fire the guns. No, we didn't get the militia, but still, that's a good, good amount of damage. Back you go. Oh, they're advancing within range of Breslau. Soon. If we, if we could get a couple of city defences under our belt, that would be great. But yeah, if we take Gdansk, that force is going to sit there and garrison it and hold it. Russia's got its own problems right now to deal with, thanks to Sweden, so we haven't got to worry. We can let them carry on fighting, just as long as we build up our border. Well, that's awfully nice of them. They want to pay us for the privilege of trading with them. And they want to have improved grape shot. Fine, crack on. So we're going to make a little bit more money through fairly safe trade. This Russian force is going to try and raid the territories of that Swedish, or the Swedish enclave of uh, Kazan. We don't mind if they do that. Oh my. The uh, Italians are depending on us to uh, defeat this British army because look at them. They have... <laughs> Almost nothing. Let's do it. Let's march in support of our brave Italian allies. They have a handful of weak cavalry, a handful of weak artillery. They're going to get overwhelmed before we can get close. And you know what? That's on them. They initiated that action. They could have got a bit stronger, but no, they elected to attack and rely on 
good old Venice coming in and saving their skins. Oh well. So they've deployed. Nice. We enter the field slowly. From a good flanking position though. Advance my general up. Let's commit some of my heavy cavalry into the action immediately. My artillery is just going to go up onto this hill. As my infantry arrives, they're going to join the action in penny packet formations. Let's commit my general. Actually, let's try and get it. See if we can save the. Save the Spanish, the, the Italians rather. So we've crushed the British flank. Get an artillery, get up on the hill. Charge onward. We fell upon their line. You e men divert, go for the general. Keep hacking at them. Okay, they want to try and draw us through the stakes. Don't let that happen. Okay, there we go. The Italian cavalry is committing. Excellent. Okay, my howitzer's in position. Unlimber, infantry, you just start running. Infantry about face, engage the general's bodyguard. As it's right here. Artillery drop, howitzer's drop quick climb right there. Killed the enemy general. Withdraw the cavalry. Withdraw the general. Quick line slamming home. Let's allow our infantry to form up. Let's try and provide more direct cavalry support to the Italians. into their formation. The British are coming! The British are coming! There we go. Volleys crashing in the centre. Yeah, we've fallen upon the British positions. Okay, cavalry. No, my general has fallen! I'm not 
sure what did it. Okay, it's just being weird. Okay, let's put them pursue them. And my cavalry needs to haul ass around the stakes if we want to try and pursue and destroy the British. Redirect my artillery fire in the centre. Okay, let's make... Make safe the Italians. My infantry putting volleys in. African infantry guards are forming up. I mean, yeah, that's just a complete rout. In my cavalry, get over here. If you want to start... Uh, If you want to start made absolutely slaughtering the enemy, we need to make that happen. Not slaughtering the Italians, slaughtering the British. The enemy cavalry is still a threat, but we don't really care about that. Militia unit, yeah, they did think about coming back, but... Redirect my artillery fire into their dragoons. Actually, redirect my artillery fire into their land forces. The enemy cavalry, or the friendly Italian cavalry, is chasing down the enemy buccaneers. Yeah, I think it's going to be... Just kill the enemy time. It's, I mean, it's too bad my general's bodyguard. Any kills they get are kind of irrelevant. Yep, there go the British. They're running back at full speed. And we're going to try and kill as many as we can. But there's far too many. Doing what we can. Hacking them to pieces. This is just... They are well and truly defeated with this engagement. Okay, let's... Okay, we're on mopping up duties. Everybody kill that buccaneer unit. All of you get that colonial militia. Blob. Cavalry blob. Yeah, they're going to escape, but my god, with huge losses. Oh yeah, see that small cavalry unit struggling to deal with the spread out infantry unit. Yeah, so they're going to escape. But yeah, it's like I said, it's still going to be a huge defeat for the British. Come on. They are these guys. <laughs> it's those guys at the back that got over the edge. Still, good victory. Sadly, it cost us the life of our general. Oh no, he's, he's, he's only wounded. Too bad the British retreated into our territory, though. That kind of sucks. Let's go get him. 
Let's make sure they don't do that again. Ooh, elections. First of all. Plus one management. Okay, four stars in general. Four stars for the treasury specifically. Five stars for the treasury, but four star in general. Okay, don't really care about the navy, so I think I want to swap you guys to get five stars for the treasury. You drop down to three, and then we'll replace you. Yay! Plus one treasury. Again, you're also five stars for the treasury, but that's fine. As long as we're all positive, where we where it matters, I don't really care. Except for you, you suck. Manfredo, you're just upsetting people. Tech advance. Copper bottoms is done. As is advanced irrigation, as is steam engine. So we are absolutely rocketing up. Oh, we don't have the naval college, so that's going to limit our research. Let's get that. Uh, let's get Verona on with shrapnel shot to help deplete some of these incoming formations. Graz go for. Foreign advance is good because it increases our training level for infantry units. Let's get a steam engine factory. I mean, so much of our our spending is going to go through the roof right now. Uh, yeah, you attack Edgar Clark. We can probably auto that. Yeah, for sure we can. Excellent. Bring you back. Perfect. Okay, replenish. Um, I think we're just going to hold on to our territories for now. You men just hold this bridge. Okay, lots of good recruiting going on. Got to deal with the Prussian threat, though. You guys are vulnerable, so let's pull you back away from these armies. You're going to be pulled in to attack Breslau, which is great. This infantry can bolster this general here and attack these leftover. Attack Joseph Wagner! Their force was originally going to be here just to try and degrade. If Poland attacks us, they can, you know, to stop them from just getting through this gap next to the Carpathian Mountains. Lots of replenishment here. Then again, we are trying to boost our field armies in the... I was say boost our field armies in the field. Yeah. Okay, you got a turn of infantry being recruited. You're you're a really good garrison, but I just do not want to lose my capital. Pull back to Vienna. So you're waiting for foot artillery plus skirmishes from Prague. I mean, I can get, I can position you up threat ready to deal with this force here if they threaten us. Line infantry. Ship another unit of conscripts out of this army. Replace them with you. Good. I oh, know, actually, I want this. Yeah, put you inside. When the hammer comes at Prague, it's going to hurt. Let's get the army board built to boost our recruitment. I think we're, I'm confident enough we can hold our own. If we have to defend Prague, we can we can defend it for sure. It is more about standing up these other armies. I need to 
focus on. Don't want to do too many turns of recruitment. St I don't want to stack too much of my um, income in that yet. We've upgraded, or we're upgrading Heracleon. Okay, let's upgrade our industry. Because you've got steam engines, and that's going to be very expensive. Let's boost. Have you got good roads? No, you don't. Let's just make sure that Ukraine's doing okay. You're getting good roads. Okay, right. I think we have to knock out a few farm upgrades. We don't necessarily want to attack anyone yet. You're replenishing, so that's fine. Um, we well, effectively, we want to see if we have to, if we can fight any defensive actions. You could, could, yeah. You're going to yeah, auto resolve that. Enemy. Secure Gdansk. Can't do anything with it, but you don't have to. We can do that next turn. But yeah, if I can fortify Gdansk, you know, we've got Gdansk, we've got Warsaw, and an army here that defends the east. Then we can focus on attacking the Prussians. But everything seems quite good in general. Still on defensive in the Middle East, but that's not bad. Send some of our light galleys out to do some raiding along the Spanish coast. Actually, let's potentially raid Cartagena because it's yeah, it's not occupied. Let's raid Oran. Stay in Cartagena. If that lures them out to attack us, that's okay. Right, I think 50,000 this turn. Now we're going to start cooking. Our port upgrades and our economy, our tax base. See, that's what I was worried about. If I moved that army out of Venice, that army that was on their, um, that was in their port would come out and kill us. That galley is going to die. Hmm, surprisingly not. Okay, more troops going eastward. They, they, we, they are winding their necks in. They, interesting we didn't get an option to intercept them. That's unfortunate. We don't need your money, to, um, Poland. I think the problem is they're going to go attack the 13 colonies. In which case, then we will need to attack to take that territory. We can't have a... We cannot abide a Polish toehold west of the Carpathian Mountains. Just can't allow it. Can't let it happen. Yeah, we need to defeat... Well, we need to have... Yeah, we need to... to to break the Prussians and have such an overwhelming economic superiority that we can just roll over Sweden and Russia. It's going to be easier said than done. But we can say and do it. Bavaria may now be entering the fray. That could be very unfortunate for us. It's just so that Prussia, Bavaria will add more bulk. Yeah. So they've moved in to attack Verona. Yeah, let's kick him out. <laughs> they've got a lot of infantry, a lot of melee infantry. We've not got foot artillery, but we've got plenty of howitzer fire. That's going to be more than enough. We'll kick them out and then pull back to Venice. Or we might pursue and kill them, we don't know. Um, and then we'll start to deal with the rest of the rest of the uh, Prussians. Okay, howitzers. 
ready to open fire. Line infantry. Plus my marines. In a form hour center. My conscripts going to be on the right flank in a massive block. Howitz is already already firing quick lime. That horse, that cavalry unit just got obliterated. Cavalry are pushing forward to commit. Lots of Highland units. Human might try and secure the heights. I'm fine with the Scottish units pushing in aggressively. It will just hasten their doom. into square you can't retarget fast enough there we go we've already slowed down their offensive on the right so that allows us to push our conscripts up then it charge the clansmen you men drop into squares. <laughs> Round shot time. These poor Scottish line infantry unit. They're surrounded. They're trying to work out who to shoot at. The sad answer is everybody. You need to shoot at everybody. Hey, you men, get steady yourselves. Form the line. Everyone's going to start picking off this unit of militia now. She broke our square in the middle. The British Regiment of Horse. But we're going to reform the square. The enemy general is fleeing. Push people up. All my howitzers engage the bodyguard. Scottish line infantry is good infantry. It's better than average line infantry, but we've just got so much. They can't stop us. We can surround them and engage at times and places of our choosing. You man drop into square because they're on their way. You men all bayonet charge. How it says all attack this unit of militia that's sat in the back for some reason. They're not providing a sanctuary, they're not providing any safe haven. Go on, Marines, tag them. Here they come. Marines up front. Line infantry secure the high ground. You men are just popping off shots against the militia, and that's fine. They're off to popped off a pistol shot. Come 
are you not shooting? There we go, killed the enemy general. Let's get the general into the action. Oh yeah, I haven't killed them yet. Interesting, Highlander Warband. That was a pistol volley. Okay, let's get my general out of here. Former enemy general's bodyguard is routed. It's such a strong route that they're already coming back. Highlander Warband with their hatchets. Yeah, they've been pushed back. The infantry are gone. This Highlander warband wants to have a crack at it. Ooh. Do artillery fire and then musket fire. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there's a Highlander warband over here. Modern Highlanders warbands have all come back. Oh, their morale is really good. Okay, let's start to split the fire. Brave Highlanders, but it will not be enough to save you. Your oh, Marines about face. The Highlanders are coming. The Highlanders are going. What about these Highlanders? He's going to be engaged by conscripts, no less. Okay, is that them actually gone this time? Yes, it is. Okay, let's get the howitzers to cease fire. Got to bear in mind this is an army that was that is optimized for defending a city. So I've not got any useful amounts of cavalry to pursue and destroy routing units. But still, we'll do what we can. There we go. These guys are going to escape. Yeah, there's the edge of the map. See you later, fellas. Close victory. That wasn't a close victory. They were persistent, no doubt, but close is not what I would use to describe that action. So if I take the army, less the guns, yeah, they can attack Ulysses Conant. Kill them. You men fall back for the capital. The infantry replenish. The artillery can just go straight back. Verona get repaired. There we go. The the, uh, the peninsula is free of British influence, which means that you, once you're replenished, can potentially get up to no good, like landing at Tunis. Spanish, although the Spanish have numbers. Hmm, that might not necessarily be the best idea then. Let's move this sixth rate over to our backup fleet. Get a brace of second rates. Let's upgrade 
Syracuse. Okay, obviously we've still got loads of things we can upgrade. I think we don't need to be particular about where we upgrade first either. Excellent, you're ready. You can advance in a position to attack the enemy. You're a bit awkwardly positioned. You could get you where you are. I mean, you are behind our lines. That's not a problem in of itself. Okay, let's go for Marine Marine. Swiss line. Swiss pike. Something like that. Although you can, yeah, you can get a bit more infantry than that. Get some skirmishers up. I mean, push comes to shove. We've got... Um, I mean, I will dump some extra line in these regions to be recruited. Are you ready? Oh no, you're already... Okay, you've already got Swiss line and pikes. My bad. Let's cancel. Actually, Swiss line's not... Swiss grenadiers. There we go. That'll be good. If we need to, we can muster an army out of the line infantry here. You're already reasonably depleted. Mr. Wagner joined that force. Okay, Mr. Balbus, replenish the force. You could, can you go south of them? Will they let you go here and then attack north? Yes, is the answer. Awesome. Okay, let's force this army back north. Full strength, lots of heavy cavalry, lots of very expensive units. Joseph Wagner's revenge. Yeah, we want to try and keep a decent front line. We don't want them to be able to flank around and infiltrate through the gaps. Every large army we beat is another large army they can't bring to the battlefield. And I'm feeling increasingly confident. I think next turn I need to build what defences around Gdansk. Just to make sure that that's as defendable as it can be. Well, let's get cracking. Oh, lovely field. Okay, we are going to go on the offensive. My artillery battery is going to go for strategic targets. Oh, it says going to go for their their um probably their cavalry. Got a nicely elite army here. Put my grenade grenadiers to push around on the right, skirmishes on the left. Let's keep a cavalry unit behind the line as a firefighter unit. I mean, yeah, my quick climb how it says focus on the Oh no, I didn't deploy them okay right let's create some space guard decor running in I mean they're against my grenadiers so let them as far as I'm concerned is a bit dicey. Skirmishes can pop up and engage the guard core. If they can hit these guys with quick climb, that will be a super attack. They did. Keep my grenadiers forming square. Okay, attack the gendarmerie. Make sure the quick climb is 
It's those Hussars. They're going to obliterate my poor little Grenadier unit. Trying to form squares with them. Okay, attack the general's bodyguard. They've elected to be to remain vulnerable. Marines form square. Skirmishers run through the square. Is the cavalry coming in? Grenadiers try and seek the safety of a nearby square. Same with my cavalry. Try to run through the square. Draw the enemy in. The grenadiers fire it all off. Go on, grenadiers. Seek the safety of the square. Skirmishes out of it. My heavy cavalry is out of it. But they appear to be doing damage. Come on, Grenadiers, get out of here. Where's my regiment of horse? There it is. Get them to come out as well. I mean, my artillery. Just focus on bombarding that unit there. Where's my general? Commit them in. Keep engaging the enemy guard to call. Anvan militia's picking us off. Get my heavy cavalry. Try to run this cavalry through the gap. You men should be enough to hold them off. Okay, excellent. Run my cavalry around the line. Put artillery, bombard the Prussian infantry. Regiment of horse, blow through the gap. Attack the horse guard artillery. Oh, actually, the heavy cavalry attack the gendarmerie. Open the way up for my regiment of horse to attack the enemy artillery. There's one unit of cavalry down, or wavering. Grenadiers are holding firm. Form our line. Prussian unit is broken. Form up, form up our line, advance. Uh, howitzers start to engage the Prussian Fusiliers. See if we can kill their heavy horse guard. We have done, that's great. The Grenadier Square broke. This Grenadier unit can just seek the shelter of the wall. This Grenadier unit's holding the square again. You're pouring fire into the flank of these enemy units that are currently attacking the center. Cavalry smash the Lanvair militia because they're picking off the flanks of our marines. One skirmisher warband. Give them a volley. Excellent. Let's get our cavalry just to blitz through. Form up our line. 
that Swiss Grenadier unit's going to hold its position on the flank. Where's my general? Get my general involved. Start chewing up some of these enemy units. Enemy grenadiers are up on the hill. Excellent. Enemy cavalry has been broken on the flank. Grenadiers push up. These men advance towards the enemy grenadiers. Oh, it's a quick climb attack ground right here. Put artillery engage that general. Don't really care about what the enemy are doing. Okay, there goes superior line. Kill the infantry. Once the quick line comes in, they're done for. Look at that. Half their number have already been killed. Push you men up. Let's get the heavy cavalry out of there. Kill the enemy general. Focus on the 1st Grenadier Regiment. chiefly want our heavy cavalry not to engage that militia unit. We want them free to pursue and engage enemy key targets. You might be able to get them. You're engaging them. Engage the Prussian Fusiliers. Yeah, kill the kill the entirety of these Grenadiers. Let's stop the howitzers from firing. Prussian Fusiliers are going to escape. The the few the um, Landwehr militia are going to escape. That's okay. Woo! That was dicey. I mean, I'll try to get them over here. See if we can get them. But I doubt it. No, we don't want to get them. Yep, they said they kicked seven shades of stuff that comes out the back out your backside out of us. But still, good victory. Killed some important units. We've got the funds we need to get this army stood back up on its feet. We have lost a not a grenadier unit, but we want a howitzer anyway, I think. Yes, we do. So you men replenish. We're not even going to afford, we're not even going to be able to afford a howitzer unit. That's okay. Good damage done though to the enemy. Really good damage done. So suddenly, yeah, these guys. I mean, this force is depleted and low quality anyway. Horse artillery has been recruited. Yeah, the Bavarians may be advancing, ready to try and support the Prussians. Oh no, uh, yes, Bavaria accepted an alliance with us. Great. So now that will cause problems for the Prussians. This church school, let's get you repaired to keep converting the Catholics. Good, good, good. Oh, Van, I grew. I missed that. Okay, let's hit end turn and see what happens. Here comes another British army. Okay, we need to sink. Ooh, they're coming after our light galley. Montgomery and Kent. 
Let's see if Signo can keep sync one of them. Oh, even worse, they got ca it got captured, but they cashed it in. Oh no, they aren't going to commit that army to defend their ally. Interesting. So. You've taken some losses, Prussia. Where are you going to stand? I think our biggest possible gains are east. Try and capture... Try and... Um, Catch a few Prussian armies while they're isolated. I think that's going to be our best option. Uh, no. No more tech transfers, Russia. I'm not interested in advancing you up. I want you to be in a tricky position and have to deal with Sweden. Although, to be fair, I suppose I kind of want to give them some help so that they can fight off Sweden. I want them to... I want Sweden and, Aust and Russia to continue fighting. Okay, let, yeah, let's try that. I need to give the United States some more money. I think I might have to start giving them a flat rate. Agent recruited. Catholic missionary in Bosnia. Super. Get them up to Gdansk. Enemy raids. Not bothered about raids one bit. So you, you guys are going to recruit a 24 pounder howitzer. There it is. You're in a position to engage that force. If we swing you now north to hit him. Walter Gross. Okay, I want to build... Let's repair the government building here in Gdansk. Let's build some fortifications. Everyone's replenishing. There's no point building anything in these areas. They're just going to get depleted. Let's build a port in Varna. And let's... she have already got a ship ready to occupy it. Okay, port upgrades. Continuing. Fleet destroyed indeed. See, we just researched far in advance. If we gave it to the enemy, that would be... They were, they were offering to give us a technology that we were about to get anyway. Let's not focus on researching out here. Major nations, United States. I'm going to offer you 2,000 gold that I'm going to pay for 20 turns. You have nothing to offer me in payment in return. I'm just going to I'm doing it because I want to pump the United States up as an interesting late game um, enemy. But the problem is I can't give them any tech. It's literally just money. All I can do is give them money. Or, or sail an army over there and start capturing territory and giving it to them. That's another way of doing it, I suppose. Let's get this agent here up to Hanover. See what's going on in the German rear areas. Okay, let's try and upgrade the safer industry first. Areas less susceptible to attack. Yeah, lots of good recruitment, but this army is the one we wanted to get done. Let's take Luca Komin, strike north, and hit Valta Gross. 
send him scurrying back north. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for some more warfare against the Prussians. Cheers, everyone.